Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Eorzea. Uh, in a sense, anyway. So today, what I'm going to talk about is something I've been super, super excited for. Um, probably since, like, last year. Um, so last year, it was announced uh, from Square Enix on, like, the the Korean and the Chinese servers that they were going to get this special cloud mount. Um, and there were... Since then, people like myself have just been freaking out, being like, where's our mount? Where is our mount? We want this cloud mount. And besides the cloud mount, there was other stuff coming too. Um, so the whole... Like, I personally want it because I'm, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan. Or Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, whatever. Um, and it's like a Nimbus mount, basically. Uh, but what it's really what it's really from and what even Dragon Ball is based on is um, it's a it's a Chinese fairy tale uh, of the Monkey King uh, called Journey to the West basically it, it's about a boy or boy or man whatever uh, with a tail that fights with a, a bow staff and uh, he rides on a cloud essentially so uh, that's probably why it came to the Chinese service first uh, and it's it's on its way to the North American and the European um, uh, versions of the game, I'm sure. But what I'm really, I know it's coming because it's in it's in the it's in the data for the game, so it's it's actually in the game somewhere. But there's no way to obtain it yet. However, they did just uh, on the Japanese Lodestone. Um, I'm not sure of the date. Oh, like on 3:24 is when this was announced. So I'm a little late on this announcement, I guess. But I just found out about it, like, literally last night. I'm just getting back into the game because I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn for so long, and um, I was reading the forums, and I almost crapped myself uh, because I found this out. Um, in Japan, uh, Square Enix is partnering up with 7-Eleven again. If you remember last summer, they did this uh, last year as well, where you could get, um, there was a couple masks, uh, the maid or butler attire, and uh, a white fat chocobo mount that you could get from 7-Eleven. Um, in the States... Uh, Square Enix partnered up with uh, Amazon. You had to buy like $25 worth of uh, Amazon sold video game products and you would you would essentially get this. I really hope they do it that way again because to me that was awesome. Uh, I know there's a lot of people on the forums that hated that. They just really want something just to be pushed into the Mog Station, which I totally understand as well. Uh, I thought it was really easy. Just people didn't follow directions basically. Uh, with that, because you have to you have to look, make sure it says that you're going to get those items, and it has to be shipped and sold by Amazon, essentially. Um, which I'm used to because I work retail, and I constantly have to price match Amazon, so I know what to look for. So I guess I was a little bit better than that. But anyway, uh, back on topic here. Uh, like I was saying, uh, in Japan, Square Enix is partnered with 7-Eleven again, uh, and these are so these are some of the things you can get. Um, there's the there's the bow staff there, the staff. Uh, there's some Etherite tickets. That's the that's the outfit there. Uh, it's, it's the Sun Wukong uh, set essentially, and then there there is a mount. Hold on, Mia. These were the things you could get uh, that they did last year, and I think you can in Japan. Looks like you could still get those, which that's kind of cool. Um, I'm guessing that Square Enix is going to do it where at least at, in the North American, where they're probably going to partner up with Amazon again. Hopefully, um, for the people in the the, the European uh, accounts, they had to deal with some weird thing where they had to buy three or four magazines or something. And I know a lot of people in the the European accounts like really really hated that. Like they were they were really mad about it because uh, I think number one it was more expensive, uh, and number two it was just a hassle. Uh, I guess there's like I was reading on the forums. I guess there's a lot of people. Um, that have European accounts but live in Japan, so it was even more difficult for them uh, to get those things. So it kind of sucks. Um, but this, so this is the Japanese Lodestone. They posted this. It's going to happen from April 1st um, to uh, May 7th is is when the the dates are happening there. Um, and this this page, this page, yeah. Um, the Anime News Network actually explained how it works a little bit better. Um, it says, the official Twitter account for Final Fantasy XIV team game announced a new collaboration with 7-Eleven convenience stores this Friday. Fans can purchase campaign drinks in 7-Eleven stores throughout Japan to collect points to obtain in-game items. Uh, the collaborations... 
The collaborations are... That's weird the way they... It's throwing me off. Uh, so these are what they include. So, I don't know, like... I guess you buy a drink and it's worth a certain amount of points. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool if they did the 7-Eleven thing in the States, too. Because I wouldn't mind trying to get my hands on, like, some cool, like, Final Fantasy cups. Or begging my local 7-Eleven store down the road to let me have all the signage when it's done. Either way. Uh, we get the Eastern Battle Staff. Uh, it's a lance, uh, it's a dragon weapon. It's about seven points. Uh, 50 Atherite tickets for seven points. You could, like, just boost up on Atherite tickets. Have ridiculous amounts of them, never have to pay for Atherites again. Uh, the Eastern Attire uh, is 14 points, and then the Flying Cloud Mount is 24 points. So I'm so, so excited for this, because I feel like it's only, it's probably only a matter of weeks before Square Enix announces how we're going to get to obtain these items. Uh, there's nothing nothing on the load stun yet. The hatching tide starts today, so I'm going to be uh, doing a video of that as well. Um, my only thing, uh, are you guys excited for this mount? I, I know I am. I have been just waiting and waiting for this mount to come out forever. And like a few months ago, the all the people data mined all the data and they found the mount in the like in the in the install files so i knew it was coming and like now it's even more proof that it's it's here basically uh so it's only a matter of time before it hits like the the north american and european um uh servers i'm just curious how they're gonna do it what do you guys think let me know in the comments below are you excited for this mount um uh, how do you think they're going to implement it? Do you think it's just going to be thrown into the Mog Station, or do you think we're they're going to do the same thing again uh, with Amazon and North American servers, or uh, the magazine thing and the European servers? Hopefully, if they do the, um, the the Amazon thing, hopefully they do it both for the North American and European European servers, because I think that would probably be the best choice. Uh, or find some other way to do it. I don't know. But let me know in the comments below. Are you excited? Are you going to seek this man out no matter what like I am? How do you think they're going to do it? Or how do you want them to do it even? Like what would be the... What would be your preferred method? Do you want them to do Amazon again? Or do you want them to do... Uh, uh, just throw in the Mog Station? I personally like the Amazon thing because... Now I get to like purchase more video game related stuff. And, which is stuff I'd probably buy anyway. So... Can't beat that. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and until next time, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.